YouTubers, Farmboy Reef here. So on today's episode of Coral Friday, um, I picked up a really nice specimen to show you guys. I got it here in the tank right behind me. It's been acclimating for about almost an hour now. Um, I've been adding a little bit of my tank water at a time, you know, get the same temperature and the same salinity so we don't shock that coral. So I got it here. Um, the coral that I got today is called an EC Flamethrower Chalice Coral. It's very beautiful. Um, it's really bright and red with a little bit of orange with the tips and yellow. Give it that flame look that they're saying. It's a really excellent piece. So before we get this started, um, a couple things with this coral, what it likes. Um, it likes a low light, moderate flow. So I'm going to try to place this in my tank where it has a little bit of light and it's a little dark. So it can grow either way it wants. If it wants to go into the bright light, it can go into the bright light. And if it wants to dip around under a couple you know, rocks and grow there, it has choices. So on today's episode, I'm going to try to place this coral more near the back um, of my tank, near the glass. I would really like this coral to take off on the, on the back of my tank and start to cover up uh, on, the, on the back of the coralline algae in the glass. I think it would look like a really nice showpiece. So I have a place here where it's not so bright. Um, it's a little bit tucked under from the radions and the T5, so it has just enough light. It's you know just a moderate light to it. And there's a little bit of moderate flow there as well. So the couple of things we have to do before we get this started is like, uh, first, um, what application are we going to use to fasten the coral to the rock? Um, I'm going to use the putty and glue combination. I'm going to put some glue on the bottom of the rock and a little bit of putty and glue it to the rock. And then on the back of the glass, I'm going to just put a little bit of glue from the glass to the coral. I find anywhere where I put glue on the, the coral, it grows twice as fast and you start to get that encrusting effect. And I want that to just get right onto the glass and start spreading. Because I really like this uh, EC uh, flamethrower coral. It's so bright in colors. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like under the Radions and uh, T5 hybrid system. So what we're going to do first, guys, is we're going to go down into the lab. We're going to take this uh, flamethrower chalice coral. Um, we're going to coral dip it with a revive from uh, Julian Sprung. Um, it's the only revive I use in my tank and that I trust. It's a great product, guys. So let's go ahead. We'll take the coral downstairs. We're going to coral dip it for 15 minutes. Uh, make sure we have no pests because we want to make sure we get no pests in our tank before they take over. It's easier if you have none and pests in your tank right, right out of the gate. So let's take the coral downstairs, guys, to the lab. We're going to coral dip it. And then we're going to bring it upstairs and we're going to place it in that area where I would like to. All right, guys. So I made it down here into the lab. Um, I got my Revive all mixed up. There's a Revive by Julian Sprung. This is great stuff. It cost me $9.99 at my local fish store. Um, so I got, I got all my water all mixed up here. It's all ready to go. I want to show you guys. This is the chalice here, guys. The flamethrower chalice. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right here in the bag. So this is what we're going to coral dip up right now, guys. So I'm just going to get it in the bag and uh, get it in the coral dip, guys. All right, guys, so we got the flamethrower chalice in here. I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like uh, up close and personal, and we'll see if we have any pests coming up. There's the, the flamethrower chalice right there. It's hard to tell with the colors with this light, but it's a really nice piece, and I don't really see anything for pests-wise uh, coming off. I see one little bristle star. You guys can see it right there, right on the bottom, but you guys can see the bumps. So that's got like a yellow-orange tip to it. It gives it that flamethrower look to it. That's a really nice, uh, it's a really nice piece. So I'm just going to agitate the water down here a little bit. See if we see any little critters come off at all. So there's just one little uh, bristle starfish right there. So far, so good. So we're just going to live it, give it 15 minutes, and then we'll uh, rinse it. Make sure we always rinse our corals uh, after we do our revive dip. I always just use some more tank water and just rinse it about two, three times. Make sure it's clear, and then we'll move it upstairs, guys. All right, guys. Just want to show you guys this. There, it's uh, another pest just actually just came off, and then I didn't see him before. You guys can see that. See it moving? This uh, revive works excellent. Ever since I've been using these coral, uh, coral dips, so I've never lost, never been losing corals at all, or make it, haven't had any pests going in my tank. All right, guys. So it's been 15 minutes. We got the coral dip all done. Um, I rinsed my coral uh, three times, so it's good for the display tank. No revive is getting in the tank. Um, the other thing I want to show you guys up close and personal, what pests came off. So by using the Revive Dip, this is what I got off it. I sorted it all out for you. We have one little bristle worm, just a small little guy. Um, I don't really care for bristle worms in my tank at all. Some people don't mind because they, you know, they, they, you know, they're scavengers, but they can irritate corals and stuff like that. 
and one little bristle starfish, just a small little guy on the end of the pin there. So I just wanted to show you guys how the revive works. So it was pretty clean coral. Any, you know, little uh, guys like this, you know, it's just typical getting on your corals and you just don't want to get them in your uh, display tank. So let's move upstairs, guys. Let's go put this coral in the tank, get it all mounted up and check it under the blue. All right, guys, so I just made it up from the fish lab. Um, I got the flamethrower chalice right here. Um, I'm going to show you guys up close and personal what it looks like before I end up mounting it in the tank. It's about the half size of my hand. It's a really good piece. You guys can see it right here. It's a really nice piece. You can't see the colors because the, there's no light on it right now. But this is a really nice piece. So I'm not, what I'm going to do to mount this one, the application, uh, I'm going to use the Aquascape uh, putty and the coral glue. I'm going to use this combination. This is what I usually always use for mounting my corals. It works really well. So we're end up, we're going to mount it. I'm going to mount it in the back here. I got a great spot. It's got low light, moderate flow. So it's going to be a really excellent spot. So I'm going to go ahead and mount that, guys, and then we're going to check it out, talk a little bit about it, and then we'll turn the blues on and see what colors we get, guys. All right, guys. So I got the chalice all mounted up. I end up mounting uh, in that area right there. It's uh, you know, it's not such intense light, and it's got some moderate flow. Um, the one the feeding habits of the the chalice. Um, it has an algae that grows in its skin as well. It's called uh, zooanthanales. Um, this uh, we create sugar to feed um, the chalice. So you don't have to feed it all the time, but if you really want your chalice to uh, really color up, keep it in the, the moderate, moderate flow, low light, and feed it time to time. Um, I always feed my, uh, my corals uh, reefroids, and they color up really nice with that. So that's uh, one little tip uh, for the chalices. And one thing too, um, they have sweepers on it that come out at night to feed. Um, to eat on like a polyplankton or just small waste that's in the water as well. So you got to watch that where you mount it. Because some of them, say, as they get larger, they could come out and extend at least 12 inches and their sweepers could sting your other corals. So you want to put it in an area where your corals aren't as, uh, you don't have as many corals in that area. So um, I end up using the coral glue and the putty technique. It's holding uh, really well. So I'm going to bring you guys up close and personal uh, with this uh, flamethrower chalice so you guys can see the vibrant colors that are on this. It's a beautiful piece and I hope it really encrusts the, the back of my tank. So I'll bring you guys in, we're gonna turn the blues down and see if we can get these colors to pop, guys. Hey guys, so I got it all mounted up. So there's the flamethrower chalice. You guys can see the yellow on it and how it's the, the bumps are coming off it. So it looks like a flamethrower. That's amazing looking uh, chalice. So let's uh, let's start turning the blues down and see what we got here, guys. So I just, got, I just opened up my reef link. Got the other phone out. So let's start turning them down. Let's turn our reds down. Let's turn our greens down. Let's turn our whites down. So now we just got blues, guys. Wow, look at that, guys. That looks amazing. So let's turn our uh, just our blues down to like 50%. So we just keep our royal blues up. Look at that, guys. It's got some really nice color to it. So that's the flame thrower chalice, guys. I can't wait for that to encrust on the back. That'll make an amazing showpiece. All right guys, so that's the flamethrower chalice. That is an amazing piece. I can't wait for that to encrust all over the, the glass, the back of the tank, and all over the live rock. It's gonna look amazing. Superman. So yeah, so that's uh, today's episode of uh, Coral Friday. I hope you guys like it. I um, hope everyone learned a little something. Please tune in next week, guys, and you never know what uh, specimen I'm gonna get. So, you know, please leave your comments below. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, let's move on to the next video, guys. You never know what it's going to be. So have a good night, guys. Bye.